My name is Eric Hester and I'm a 2017-2018 senior scholar. Um, my host institution here in Taiwan is National Taiwan University. My home institution is Virginia Tech in Southwest Virginia where I teach and do research on water resources engineering. I'm a river engineer. A lot of the work I do in the United States, but also here, is to look at how we can improve degraded rivers to improve flooding, water quality, and uh, habitat for aquatic organisms. And so my project in Taiwan is to look at how stream restoration and river restoration, in particular floodplain restoration, which is one aspect of river restoration, can improve water quality. And so my idea here was to bring that to Taiwan and use that to solve some of the Taiwan-specific water quality problems. There's actually um, some data from my host professor, uh, Angela Lin uh, at NTU, she uh, has collected a lot of data on pharmaceuticals. So these are things like opioids, uh, codeine, morphine, uh, stimulants like uh, methamphetamine. Those things come from hospitals, they come from prescription drugs people use in their houses, and they wind up in the rivers. And that's not good for humans, not good for aquatic organisms living there either. And so one way to solve this problem, um, particularly with these opioids and these uh, other pharmaceuticals, is that they will degrade in light. So if you get them out in the sunlight, they actually break down into less harmful com compounds. And so floodplain restoration is actually potentially a really great way to solve this problem because you get the water out from the channel into the floodplain where it has time to slow down um, and absorb that sunlight and break down into less harmful substances. And so what my project is doing is trying to look at what potential there is for floodplain restoration to uh, solve or reduce these um, pharmaceutical concentrations in rivers. What I did for my um, Fulbright research here was to use a, a numerical model, a computer model of river flow and flow, uh, flow of water in rivers and floodplains and how that takes pollutants with it and where and when they react. And so I looked at a variety of different ways we can restore floodplains, um, different sizes, different widths, uh, different kind of engineering design parameters. And I found out based on that, that in a two kilometer river reach, you can, uh, by floodplain restoration, you can remove up to 20% of some of the um, pharmaceuticals that I looked at, including uh, some of those opioids and, and methamphetamine. And that may not sound like a lot, but it's actually just about right because water quality can't be managed one stretch of a river at a time. It has to be managed um, on a watershed, large scale. So in order to really effectively address water quality problems, you have to have a number of different uh, types of infrastructure and just individual uh, practices by companies and governments. And so some of the other things that would work together with it, with floodplain restoration, include wastewater treatment plants, uh, stormwater control, and just source reduction, using less toxic material in the first place. For Taiwan in general, you do have a lot of floodplain space available, for instance, along the Xindian River. So that's more than you have in a lot of American cities like, say, St. Louis or Chicago. So I think, I think Taiwan, or Taipei at least, is already has some really good opportunities there and is already thinking, I think, fairly progressively that way. Um, but there's always more you can do. People from the U.S. who haven't been out of the U.S. or haven't been to Asia um, may think it's a pretty exotic place. And I guess one thing I would say is, right off the bat, is that NTU is very much like the US, a lot of U.S. research institutions in, in many ways in terms of how they run things, in terms of um, the drive for publishing, how the funding model works, how graduate students interact with faculty, all of that um, uh, is very similar. So it's, it's actually more familiar than I would have thought. And so that's one thing. Um, another one is that the students are really good and we should get more of those to Virginia Tech. On top of that, everyone has just has been really friendly and generous. I mean, um, both, both my official host, professor, but also the, uh, the other person I've been working with a lot and into you, just been really generous with their time, with their insights, and with their data. Um, and then, as is the institution itself. I mean, they gave us free housing, they gave us um, uh, offices, et cetera. Us, my, my, my spouse is also uh, a Fulbright here. And so, um, they've been very generous to our family and to uh, us professionally. And so, uh, it's been a great experience.